Hello and welcome to Vaichu's exam prep IES. Welcome to the big news. The topic for today's discussion, Delhi air pollution, AQI drops to severe. Before we understand what this topic is in greater detail, we have an announcement. Baiju's exam prep IS would be conducting All India Mega Mock Test for Prelims 2023. This is scheduled to be conducted on 6th of November at 9.30 am. This will be available in English and Hindi, available in offline and online formats. After this, what we will also provide is a detailed report card with All India Ranking. And do note, if you are in Delhi, please to attend the session in our offline format. Immediately after the mock test is done, we will have our faculty members explain, take your doubts as well. Let's get started and try and understand what is this topic all about. Air pollution in Delhi is at its highest since January with some areas in the national capital region reporting severe category air quality. So the air quality of the national capital has deteriorated. It is now under the severe category according to the Central Pollution Control Board. If you look at the data, there are multiple places in Delhi which has reported severe category. Now the question is, what is this air quality index? When we look at air quality index, it clearly depicts the pollution level in that particular city, how polluted the air currently is in that region, higher the value of AQI basically means increase in the air pollution. So if the AQI is in the range of 0 to 50, it means it is good. If it is between 51 to 100, it is satisfactory. If it is between 101 to 200, it is moderate. If it is between 201 to 300, it is poor. If it is between 301 to 400, it is very poor. And if it is between 401 to 500, it is severe. So most of the places in Delhi are now under the severe category. What is it based on? Basically, the AQI is measured by taking into picture about eight pollutants. Which are these pollutants? One, what we have is the particulate matter 10, particulate matter 2.5, NO2, ozone, carbon monoxide, SO2, NH3 as well as PB. All these eight pollutants are taken into picture and ultimately what they derive is called as an air quality index. And do note, when it comes to carbon monoxide as well as ozone, it is calculated on eight hour basis, but for the rest of it, it is 24 hours. This can also be important from the preliminary examination point of view. So amongst all the eight pollutants, if we are calculating for an eight hour basis, it happens to be carbon monoxide as well as ozone. Why has there been severe air pollution in the national capital? There are multiple reasons for it. We have the Center for Science and Environment. This happens to be a Delhi-based organization. It basically is an environment-related research and advocacy group. What it tried to do was to understand why air pollution is increasing in Delhi. It has come up with the reasons as well. According to the analysis of data from October 21 to 26 found that the local sources of pollution are the major ones. This includes vehicular emissions may have contributed around 51% to the particulate matter 2.5 levels in Delhi. So according to the analysis made by the Center for Science and Environment, it clearly goes on to say that apart from the outside sources, local sources of pollution is what is increasing in Delhi. So what are these local sources? Local sources basically refers to the pollutants whose source is from Delhi. So Delhi, we have the national capital region. Within Delhi, there are different sources of pollution located within Delhi is what is called as the local sources. When we look into the major one, it happens to be the vehicular contribution, which is about 51% to the particulate matter 2.5. Vehicular pollution has become a major reason contributing to the air pollution as well as the smog. Vehicular emission is increasing air pollution and smog as well. In fact, we have the Central Pollution Control Board and the National Environmental Engineering Research Institute which have declared vehicular emission as a major contributor to Delhi's increasing air pollution. Among these local sources, the next largest contributor was 13% from the residential sources and 11% from the industries. Construction activities contributed around 7% to particulate matter 2.5, followed by about 5% each from the burning of waste and the energy sector. 
In fact, road dust also contributed to about 4% to the particulate matter 2.5. So what we understand is that within Delhi, there are some local sources which is acting as a major pollutant. And whenever we speak about winter season, what exactly happens? We have the dust particles. We also have the pollutants as well. Since air is unable to move, they get stuck in that particular area. Due to stagnant winds, these pollutants get locked in the air and they affect the weather conditions resulting in smog as well. And to a very minuscule level, we also have crackers which may have contributed to this particular buildup as well. But the major happens to be the vehicular emissions. These are the local sources. Then what is happening outside Delhi? Why do we have the major pollution that happens primarily in October and November? That is because of the stubble burning. NASA satellites have observed large clouds of smoke and heightened fire activity in northwestern India as farmers burn excess paddy straw after the rice harvest, a practice called as the stubble burning. So remember, it is because of stubble burning that takes place in the region of Punjab, Haryana, which might have also contributed to the pollution in national capital. Now, if you look into share of stubble burning in Delhi's particulate matter 2.5 pollution, on October 22nd, it was about 1%. On 23rd of October, it was about 3%. On 24th of October, it was about 5%. But on November 3rd, what we have witnessed is about 34%. So what we are witnessing is a drastic increase because of the stubble burning. And the farm fire incidents have also increased as well. If you look at this particular data, it has reached up to the peak of 3,500 on November 3rd. This means more the stubble burning, more the fires that have been taking up. This will also result in air pollution in the national capital region. So basically, the national capital shares its borders with number of states like Haryana and Uttar Pradesh and one of the main reasons of increasing air pollution levels in Delhi is crop burning by the farmers in the state. It is estimated that approximately 35 million tons of crop are set fire by the state. The wind carries all the pollutants and the dust particles from these states and ultimately it comes to the national capital region which have got locked in the air. What have been the impact of the air pollution whenever there is air pollution? What exactly happens? We have the particulate matter 10. We also have the particulate matter 2.5 and we also have other pollutants as well which will have a devastation on the human body. Particulate matter enters our respiratory lung system through the nose and the throat. The larger particulate matter PM10 is eliminated through coughing, sneezing and swallowing but particulate matter 2.5 can penetrate deep into the lungs. It can travel all the way to alveoli, cause lung and heart problems and delivering harmful chemicals to the blood system as well. Air pollution can affect your body from head to toe. The effects range from damaged hair, skin irritation, nasal blockage, asthma, watering from eyes, flu, bronchitis, conjunctivitis, cough, etc. Children and people who are already suffering from any chronic or pulmonary disease or those who have weak immunity are the ones who are the most vulnerable to the air pollution. So as the AQI value increases, health impacts become very serious as well. There is a lot of breathing difficulty. This can also result in serious health issues in people who already have existing respiratory problems. Other gases also lead to cardiovascular diseases like heart attack, pulmonary diseases, so on and so forth. What exactly happens when the severe category air quality strikes Delhi at this particular moment. If air quality index turns severe, what we have is the local authorities who immediately enforce a ban on construction and demolition. So if the air quality turns severe, the local authorities immediately step into the picture and they make sure that all the construction activities in Delhi are immediately suspended and brick canes, hot mix plants, stone crushers will not operate and they can only operate on clean fuels and mining and associated activities in NCR will be immediately banned as well. These are some of the actions that will be taken by the local authorities. 
what are the measures given by the National Disaster Management Authority. So we have the National Disaster Management Authority which has issued some guidelines to protect from the hazardous impact of smog and pollution. What have they suggested? Don't step out or indulge in outdoor activities during early morning and evening hours due to severe levels of air pollution in the city. Try to stay indoors, go out when it's bright and sunny, avoid stepping out if you have breathing difficulty, keep children indoors as much as possible, avoid smoking, do not burn garbage, drink adequate amount of water as it helping flushing toxins from the body, avoid strenuous activity as they may lead to inhalation of minute pollutant, eat fruits that are loaded with vitamin C, magnesium, omega fatty acids, these fruits are rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds and helps in boosting immunity. Use nasal filters or air purifiers which helps in short term relief. Keep some air purifying plants inside your homes and offices such as aloe vera and English ivy. Avoid using main roads. It has been observed that pollution drops when you walk in lanes away from the main roads and avoid going to areas with heavy smoke or dust are some of the guidelines given by the National Disaster Management Authority. It is this that we have to understand with respect to this topic. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching. All the best.